It's game time on 1112 BISN with live game coverage. Shout out to the 10 to the 5 touchdown, Bison! On your computer or mobile device anywhere in the world. Expert play by play by Steve McDonald. Cummings, it'll be Cummings, 5, Cummings, down to the pylon, yeah! touchdown, Bison! The bank's open on Saturday here in Cheyenne in the afternoon. Bank closed for Riverton, no out of town deposits. Intriguing color analyst, Alan Cummings. That, that's where a pump fake really works. Oh, yeah. She got the offensive rebound. She had it. three players around her. Just a quick... Put her in the air. Yeah. Just so you know, I've already stopped tracking turnovers. Are you ready? Sit back and enjoy the game brought to you by the Bison. 1112 BISN, your Bison Network. Are they going to do the... And national? we're back. We're back live. We're back. I don't, you know, I, don't, I think they might do the national anthem. They we're did wondering that. if we're going to do the national anthem again. They did with the boys last time. The, uh, the central game. Oh, they, yeah, they are. They're yeah. bringing the flag out. So, so we're, we're going to do the color little... guard. And this time I'm going to follow yeah. them. And we got a good crowd here uh, Friday night over here at the Story Gym. Oh, boy, I got to give a shout out to Mr. Uh, Z, Mr. Z Dog, Mr. Zwanitz and Nettles from Johnson Junior High. He's watching the broadcast tonight. Uh, I saw he commented on the on the page. So if you're out there, Z Doggy, I don't know if you're here in Boulder or wherever you're at, man. We hope you're doing well. Let's see here. Use that chat feature. What he's talking about there is there's a chat feature that comes on the game. It's on the right hand side if you're on your mobile device, or I'm sorry, on the bottom if you're on your mobile device. On the right hand side on your computer, we're gonna have the color guard. I'm gonna follow them in here since I totally blew it the first game. <laughs> Oh, stretch the legs out a little bit. Man, I'll tell you what. Feels good. There's a Frondi sighting. Yep, he was one of the ones who stopped me, actually. All right, man, we're going to do the starting uh, lineups. You better get your uh, flashlight ready because the lights are about to go down. I'm getting it on right now. Let me get my lighter out because it's like a rock <laughs> concert. Let me get... So we got number two, number three, number 11, number 13. And number I said there was a, a Frondi Water signing. There's a lot of big names here tonight, Friday night, all the – all the celebs are out. Boy, they are. All the Cheyenne celebs are out all over <laughs> the place. And starting for your Cheyenne South High Bison, we got the 5'11 senior, number one, Cameron Bird, averaging 20 points a game. Yeah. I saw in the paper today that he's second in the state in scoring. Is he? Yeah. Not surprising. And then the 5'9 sophomore, number three, Leandre Ray, who's averaging 8.7 points a game. Number 10, the 6'2 senior, 
Kevin Bell, who's averaging 9.2 points a game. Then number 15, the sophomore, six foot sophomore, Mari Alexander. Mari Alexander actually had a pretty good game. Yes, he did. He hard, yeah. And I'd say that's exactly why he gets his. And then number 23, the junior, 5'11", Michael. Hey, hey Masquerina. I knew you were going to do it. I, I'm not as good as Steve doing that. <laughs> <laughs> and the lights are out. The lights are out. Get your lighters out. For the number two ranked Cheyenne East Thunderbirds, we got number two, Xavier McCord averaging 16 points a game. Number three, Jake Rail averaging 8.1 points a game. Number four, Chance Allmiller averaging 14.3 points a game. Then number 11, the senior Demetrius McCord averaging 8.9 points a game. And then another Buell, number 13, six foot three, junior Graydon Buell averaging 11.8 points a game. Yeah. The Bules, family Bules, they come to a doubleheader, boy. And you see a lot of basketball with their kids, huh? Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're watching the game right now. The subscribe button is the red button that you see right now in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. If you see the big button on your YouTube player, hit that. It's totally free. Just subscribe to our channel. All it does is help show your support for local web streamers like 1112 BISN that bring you these local sports broadcasts at no cost to you. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Show us some love. And now I can't see because it's and flashed the lights on. You're blinded by the light. Blinded, blinded by, by the, the light. light. And I don't even know. Wrapped up like a what? Wrapped in up the, like in a... The something in the night. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to grab ask your Mr. popcorn about bag, that one. Grab your hot dog or grab your pizza. We're ready for the number two ranked Thunderbirds against your South, South High Bison. Bison. South actually owns seven wins against the Thunderbirds. They're most with two other teams in their program history. The other two teams are Riverton and Laramie, which they also have seven wins against. That's good to know. We'll keep that, keep that moving, keep that total moving forward. There you go. Unfortunately, they've lost the last three, though. Ah oh. uh, Miller gets the ball to Jake Rail, who calls out the call play. South going to start out in their man-to-man -man defense. I like this move because you got some height down, some athletic height down in the post with the McCords. Short. Yeah, there we go, giving up rebounds already. Ah Miller with the rebound misses. Alexander goes for oh, it, can't get ball. it. And then there's McCord with the man with the basket. And it's two to nothing now on the Majestic Butterfly scoreboard. South gets the ball inbound to Kevin Bell. Far side, left side, drives. Picks up his dribble off to Mascarenas, who puts up the three, misses. Yeah, that sounded good. Quickly ahead. There's a oh. block out of bounds. It's going to let him know right away. Cameron Bird says, Cameron I don't want Bird that Christmas present. Says, uh, sending that package back to Albuquerque. <laughs> <laughs> Quick inbound miss, yeah. rebound by Mascarenas. Yeah. Every time he scores a basket, they're going to go in that full court press where they're going to take those two McCord twins who are very long, six foot four long kids, and they're going to use those long arms to try to get some, some turnovers in that full yes, court press. Yes, exactly. South patiently running some good offense here. There's a three from Mascarenas. Oh, just yeah. misses. But guess what? He's going to get his own rebound, put up a Off floater. Up and in. Michael Mascarenas. Mascarenas with the two points. Ties this game up. Uh, there's a three from McCord. He misses. Rebound by Cameron Bird. Bird slows it down. No full court press this time. They're going to put uh, Xavier McCord, I believe, number 11. Or that's Demetrius That's McCord. Demetrius, yeah. They're going to put him on the second leading scorer in the state. It's going to be an oh, offensive foul. An offensive foul. Turnover South. Scores tied two to two. Hey, if you're here watching this game and you're cheering for a Cheyenne team, hit that thumbs up button. That thumbs up button on the video. Like the video if you're cheering for a Cheyenne team right now. That's a good job of making that, that, that on-ball screen. You gotta make that on-ball screen higher away from the three-point line. Back up by rail, good. Good backside defense there by South. 
Miss. Oh, Alexander doesn't get the rebound. Makes it tough, and that's going to be McCord with the ball. Turnaround jumper up and in. Xavier. And he's got all four points for Cheyenne East at this point. Ray. Don't want to pick up your dribble that far deep, but he gets it off to Mascarenas. They got to beat two, two to one, one right now. That's going to be an offensive foul. Five. Yep. And I believe that's the second offensive foul uh, that's been called for Amel. Amel's taking both of them. Taking both of them. Yeah. You got to know that you're on a two on one break. The only defense that that they have is to take a charge on you. You got to exactly. recognize that. Especially when he's got a marshmallow yeah. over a campfire because he's been yeah. camping there so long. Sometimes you got to know where you're at, control your body. There's a pass down low to Buell. Buell puts up the basket up and in, and it's 6-2. to two. 4 all run by the Th Thunderbirds. I almost called them the Lady Thunderbirds. <laughs> Number two ranked team in the 4A conference. There's Bell's spot, but he pulls, pulls it off instead. I thought he was going to shoot that. Cameron Bird's going to take push. it up. That's oh, a push. He misses it. He missed, the referees missed the push on the backside of that. It's going to be south ball, though. Yeah, Kevin Bell's got to have a big game. He's got to be able to knock down a couple of those looks because, you know, right now East is focusing more on Cameron Bird, and they're going to do that all game. All teams are going to do that from here on out. And so sometimes Kevin Bell's going to have opportunities to take those shots. He's got to he, knock them down. Especially that baseline. He likes that yeah. baseline three, and he usually hits them. So. Ooh, oh, there's a push. push. There that's going to be the first <laughs> foul on Xavier McCord. First foul on the Thunderbirds. As you can see, they're, they're putting that full court one, one, two, one, two, one, one press. Right. It's kind of like a diamond. That, they're using that length. Yep, it's a diamond press, actually. Yeah. And it it's gets turned over. Turnover, yeah. Third turnover of the game for the Bison. Here comes Jake Rail. He hits. Nine to two, south trailing. There you go. Oh, well, you can't you take two guys off. Yeah, well, you can't take two dribbles and then just stop. Nope. You either got to take it to the rack or keep your dribble. South running a patient offense against this man defense. Bell, that's a, ah, gets the ball stolen away from him. That's, that's a, a travel. travel. <laughs> 11 to two. And another turnover, nope. Whew. That's a nice move by Bird, just getting get the ball to fall. Team to two, and there's going to be a timeout. Yeah. At this point, what Cheyenne is doing is they said, you know what, we're going to show you how we're going to play the game. Mm -hmm. And basically, they came out in the first three minutes and said, this is how we play. We're going to transition. We're going to full court trap you. We're going to offensive rebound. Yep. And you're going to play our game right now. And that's exactly why the score is 13 to two. And right now, South is one for five from the field, 0 for two from deep, and we've got four turnovers. Uh oh. Who let the dogs out? Who, 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 who? <laughs> okay, we got that out of our system. South trailing 13 to two, largest lead that's, right now. That's kind of one of those songs that just make you, <laughs> it's like the dumbest song ever, but you, you got to sing it, right? That's right. I'll tell you what, if there was enough room up here, you might see me cut a rug. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you had a bad foot or something. You know, it's, it's better. Yeah. It's a little you're, better. You're able to cut a rug I'm now. able to cut a rug now. It might not look very good, but South can inbound, and there's going to be that trap. Drop back into a 2 2 1 now. Yeah. Manzanares has checked in, Ray. Well, they had to bring Manzanares in just because he's a ball handler. You got to take that to the rack. Finish it. Uh, he shouldn't have jump stopped. Well, he, he's heard about the jumping ability of the McCords, and he, he kind of got a little timid there. Manzanera is going to reset the offense yeah. in between the circles, being guarded by Buell. He puts up a three. That's tipped. It's going to be tipped. Sorry. It's going to be a foul on the floor. Nope. Uh, call it. You know, East has done this all. They've done this. This, this typical East basketball 
And what they do is they love to run the floor. They got the athletes. You got to get back. Exactly. You miss a shot, you turn the ball over. It's mandatory. You bust your butt back and not give up these easy layups and transition. And, you know, that, that's, a different, that's the difference between East and Central from the team they faced the other night. Central just kind of beat it down on you yeah. to where East can, they can spread you out. They can beat you in the paint. They can shoot it wherever they want. Exactly. So the free throw, first free throw was missed. First, throw, first one was missed. He makes a second one. South a little bit out of sync, trying to figure out how to break this transition. Yeah. Press defense that East has got going. And you know what, like you mentioned this earlier, what creates, what's, what makes this press defense so hard to beat is they got long, they're long arms. They're they long? got long, yeah. Yeah, I mean, what do you do? You know, you're six foot four, you got long arms, and you're an athletic. It's not, it's just, it's not enough to be long, and you're athletic. Exactly. And there's two of them. Good move by Buell to get to the basket. He misses. It's going to be yeah, rebounded. They were trying to do an alley oop there, is what it was. That just drives the coach mad. But I guess when you're up 13 points, I guess you can. Yeah. You know what? That's the type of play though that usually Horsley doesn't doesn't mess around with that. <laughs> He's about team first, you know. So yeah. so South will get the ball from the deflection out of bounds and in checks in number 10. My Pope. Yep. That's a nice shot by Ray, and I'll tell you what, that's exactly what South needs is another person to step up and take the pressure off Cameron Bird, who's not on the floor right now. Long pass to McCord, that's Demetrius. Rail thought about the three, instead pulls up. There, I got the camera fixed, guys. So Sometimes with this East team, is they're their own worst enemy, and sometimes they'll, they'll shoot themselves in the foot sometimes by taking shots that they shouldn't be taking or whatever causes them to you know lose focus basically we haven't seen that yet but it's typical for sometimes from from what i've seen in the past from this east team i, I agree with you there they tend to think they just have it in the bag and they just stop playing you know and there's another basket that's that's eight be, points now for uh, xavier xavier mccord yeah Ray is he averaging 16 you said yes yes ray throws up a shot Ooh, that was close. That yeah. could have been close with the block shot, though, by Xavier. And then the throwdown. Xavier McCor is just going to take over this game, both on the offense and defensive end. The average is 16 points a game, nine rebounds. I don't have his blocks a game. There is a nice pass. Ray gets swatted again. Well, you can't come into the big man territory and acting like a third grader. You better come hard and strong. Yeah, exactly. Jake Rail with the three. He hits. This is not the start that you were hoping for. No, we under a minute left, for, yeah. 21 to four. But I'll tell you what, I like Ray's, Ray's a, attacking mindset right now, yeah. though. Even though he's one for three, Jeremiah Moites checked in. That's another slasher. There's a nice give and go. Kevin Bell misses the shot, though. Quickly ahead is Demetrius. He's going to be fouled. They're going to nope, nope, wave it off. On the floor. It's going to be Alexander's Alexander. second. 26 seconds left. 21 to 4 is your score. That foul. Pena Business Services foul. And now it comes mass substitutions. Hunter Scott getting in for the first time. There's a bunch of beep, beep, beep. What is uh, all that? That usually means someone's not in the scorebook. Nope. They're good. Nope. Oh, they thought they thought Daquan was a player. <laughs> he is a player. What are you talking about? <laughs> he is. <laughs> DQ. DQ. Hunter Scott on the court. Turnaround jumper. So oh, that kid just... He's got 12 Ooh. points in the first quarter. 23 to 4. Bird back in. He's 0 for 2. Giving to Scott. Scott 
to Mascarenas. Mascarenas for the three, just misses. Long three, Shoot, no the way good. He's, the way he's shooting the ball, he, I thought that was going in. And that's the end of the first quarter. Your South Bison trailing 23 to four. We're gonna take a timeout here on the Bison. 11-12, BISN. Yo, Bison Network. Majestic Butterfly Beauty Salon knows great hair. Whether it's for a trim, getting rid of stubborn gray hair, or just freshen up, Majestic Butterfly is a cut above the rest. Formal hairdos for school dances, or getting ready for the happiest day of your life. The professionals at Majestic Butterfly know how to make you look your best and feel your best for every day and for every occasion. Offering women's, men's, and children haircuts, color services, perms, eyelash extensions, and eyebrow and lip waxing. Call 307-369-2201 now for a free consultation and schedule your appointment. Stylists can also be contacted directly at the numbers below. Locally owned and family friendly, Majestic Butterfly, hair and beyond. And we're back after this Pena Business Services timeout on 11-12 BISN, ready for second quarter action. It'll be East Ball, your South Bison trailing 23-4. to And me and Coach were talking during that timeout, and we're, honestly, it looks like South's playing scared, Coach. Yeah, for sure, man. You know, like I said, we, we're up here way kind of high up in, the, in the, the rafters, but even I could tell from up here that South's a little bit intimidated right now. Um, they're scared of getting their shots blocked. They're scared of, you know, attacking the basket. Too much respect right now. I mean, you always respect your opponents, but goodness gracious, when the game starts, man, you play, you play like they're your enemy. I mean, you go after them every single time. Well, Mascarenas right hasn't a been too much respect. You get your shot blocked, you get your shot blocked. But you still got to go up strong. You know what? Everybody's had their shot blocked exactly. before. That's a nice read there. Masker Manzanares to Scott. That's a good put in right there. Out of boy, Hunter. Hunter says, I'm not scared. <laughs> he must have heard us up here. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you know, you're down 20, 17, 21, you know, 17 points now. And you just got to scramble. You got to start scrambling, start making plays, start hoping for some breaks come your way. You know, yeah, he's going to get some shots too, but, you know, you got to just kind of make this game a little bit more chaotic, pick up the pace, start playing your game. Kevin Bell checking in for Ray. Ray's going to get his first break of the game, if I'm correct, Coach. I don't think he came out in that first quarter, yeah, you're did he? right. So on the floor is Bird, Manzanares, Mascarenas, Bell, and Scott. Manzanares and Mascarenas. Yeah. Eminem's. A little Eminem. Yeah, a little backdoor That's a action. That's a nice backdoor. Yeah, see? So what? You, you go up strong, you get your shot block. It's still our ball. Exactly. Yeah. But you know what? He hasn't been afraid to shoot. He's one for six. He'll but at least it, he's yeah. shooting, you know? That should be in the last one. almost close to the screen. One. He's just going to shoot it. He doesn't, that was a good look, so that's the whole thing. Kevin Bell comes away with that bad pass from Buell. Good transition defense. Kevin Bell's going to run back. And then, you know, Graydon Buell doesn't see him on the pass. You know. It's going to be South Ball. Yeah. It almost looked like it went off his knee. Yep. Yeah. But I'll tell you what, I like this back cutting that they're doing. Yeah, well, that's because East is so overactive. They, they want steals. They want yep. showtime. They want that steal. They want to come they down and show dunk. them for, in front of their crowd. You know what it so is. They, they know 11-12 BISN's broadcasting, and That's they might right. get to ESPN. <laughs> Sports Center Top 10, right? Yeah, SC be. Top 10 with Scott, Scott Van Pelt. Scott Van Pelt. Watch that every night. Yeah. Hunter Scott with the ball being guarded by Demetrius. Now Ray. It's good movement. South's got some movement going. Uh -huh. Throws it to the cheerleaders. Uh -huh. Not on the same page. No. Nope. And here comes Mari with two fouls. You know, I like this move of getting Alexander in the starting lineup because he's a better rebounder. Yeah. And he's not, he, he's actually not a bad offensive post player. No, he's not. He's got great post moves, and he knows how to get to the free throw line. Well, he battled with Lawson from Central yes, the other did. night. He sure did. That's a nice rebound by Bird. He jumped up high for that one. 23 to 6. Both teams with one field goal so far 
each in the second quarter. There's Bell from three. Just a little long. Manzanares. Nice. Well, we're winning the second quarter, four to nothing, coach. Take a quarter at a time, right? right. <laughs> South was two for 12 in that first quarter. So it's good to see that they're getting the ball. Hey, yeah, there we go. Well, you talked about I told it. you, man. Yeah. I, I tell you, yeah. East is notorious for going into these little stints. And, you know, they're their own worst enemy sometimes. And there's going to be a Pena Business Service this time. And a great timeout by the East Coast because he sees it as well. He's like, wait a minute. What are we doing? We're going to take one with him here on the Bison. 11-12, BISN. Your Bison Network. Agency, 20th and Central in downtown Cheyenne. Call for a no obligation consultation and quote at 307 514 5003. And I'm losing control. A lot of music tonight. Grease in the house on 1112 BISN. It's electrifying. It's electrifying. Cameron Bird. That's a nice, nice setup there for Leandre Ray. Bird with the assist. South down 23 to 10. Now South deploying their trapping defense. Yeah, and, and all that is is just kind of trying to play to their, trying to get, you know, get away from playing the East game. Let's play our game a little bit. And you know what? That it's if, if you run it right, it slows their offense down. Because it before makes them get in the first quarter, court. they were actually playing on their heels most of the first quarter. Now they're they're playing a little bit with some you know, move it forward, that's for sure. Manzanares picks up that foul. Miss. Oh. Rebound. It's going to be a Is foul. going to be Mari Alexander? I hope not. Maybe it's going to be on Manzanares. He was down there, too. Nope. Alexander picks up his. Ooh, that's his third. And we got a Devon Simmons siding. Devon Simmons, he played, I see him play quite a little bit in that JV game. Yep. You know, he's, he's got some long arm. arms too, yeah. though. A little sophomore, he's, he's a great rebounder. Get that board, Devon. You say he's a great rebounder, comes in, picks up his first yeah. rebound of the game. Oh, but he's going to be charged with that turnover. Went right through. Right through his hands. <laughs> right through his hands. And Devon, I love you, kid. He's one of my favorite kids. Great smile. But he's not known for his hands. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good rebound right there. They're going to oh, call, call a foul. foul? Oh. Yep. Ray goes down hard. He's going to pick up his rebound, oh, though. They're going to call the foul on uh, number four, Chance, Chance Almond. Almond. That's only the second team foul on the Thunderbirds. Yeah. Number two ranked team in the state. And they went back to that 1-2-2, two, two, yep. which they had a lot of success in the first quarter with. Bird picks up his dribble. And they beat it. Mm -hmm. boy, there you go. It's his first points of his varsity career right there. He missed his four field goals against Central. And there's a steal. Hunter Scott get credit with the steal. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's big if it goes in. Got to get back on transition. Travel. Travel. That's a good call. 23 to 12. Sorry, I didn't have a chance to update the Majestic Butterfly scoreboard, but it's 23 to 12, a frantic pace. Well, we're up 8 to 0. And I'll tell you what, four minutes East left has in the half. East has not scored in the second quarter. Huh? Nope. South has scored eight. Now they're going back to a man-to-man. -man. So East has changed their full court pressure three different times. <laughs> Cameron Burr with the ball in the front court, being guarded by Demetrius. Or is that Xavier? Demetrius. Uh, Xavier. Xavier. Scott saves the turnover. Better get out of the paint, though. Ray 
Back to Bird. Yeah. And Leandre Ray's not a bad three-point shooter. He's, he's actually a pretty good three-point shooter. I'd like to see him take get a little more confidence and take some, some perimeter three-point shots. That, that was an in-between-the-leg pass to Buell. Yeah. Well, it's going to be deflected again, out of bounds. The, the East is its own enemy. Scott they, with the they, steal. They start doing stuff like this, and when they start playing better teams, Try to get fancy. Yeah, it's going to come back and cost them a lot more. It's going to be on the floor. Number 23, I think, is going to pick up the foul for the Thunderbirds, which is Alec Clark. Alec Clark. He's played in seven games so far, averaging two points a game. That's what they put him in for, Coach. Exactly. Get, Get those a couple fouls. fouls. Take the pressure off Buell and the McCords. Yeah. He's the enforcer. <laughs> the enforcer. Everybody's got to have one, right? Scott a, with the ball. A shot right here would be huge. Well, he's got the room. He should have shot yeah. that, but he's going to, yeah, that's from the free throw line. And, and he gets a bad. Foul. He's not a bad. That's yeah. a good shot. South back down to single digits, back 23 to 14. To, back down to nine, yeah. Yeah. Nah, you cannot let him get the ball in the paint, though. Well, when he can't, that's about a That is going to be a push. Nice box out by Devon Simmons. Devon Simmons going to get credit with that rebound. How about a three-pointer here? Ooh, right now, huge. we're on a 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, well, 0 kind run. Of, it's kind of mirroring what happened with the right. girls game in the, in the, what was it, the start of the second quarter, wasn't it? Yeah. 23 we're to 14. We're on a 10 run right now. Start the second quarter. I like this. Pull it out. Oversee it, what's yeah. going on. Now they're going to slow it down, and they're going to run it. Hopefully get someone caught in a back screen, a back cut right here. Or you can open up the lane wide open and get it pinned. Uh, that's okay. You, that's that's okay. okay. Yeah. You got to do that though, you know. You have you have to play that with Oh, that type Simmons. Of Simmons just rejected it. Oh my I saw god. That. Got a boy. There you go. Cameron with the basket. That's first points for Cameron Bird today. Simmons rejected it. Oh, you just can't give up Demetrius. a three that easy. Yeah. It's all right. It's a good foul. Yeah. That's a ticky tack one, in my opinion, though. I wouldn't even yeah, call that Yeah, y'all, as a one. coach, y'all hate those. You I hate know. Those <laughs> ah, come on. Oh, Lord, he barely touched him. Who was that on, anyway? That was on Michael Mascarenas. That puts him, us in, puts him in the bonus now, so they'll be one and one. But I tell you what, Devon Simmons swatted Demetrius. Makes it. That's the first points for East in the second quarter. Still without a field goal, though. I mean, still without a field goal. It's a win-win for South, you know. The difference is we've been able to score at least, you know, when there haven't been scoring. Where the East, where the Central South girls couldn't, weren't able to score. Exactly. There you go. Clear it out. Bring it up the court. That man Zanaris has a motor. I like he's his the, motor. He's the boys' version of. Andrea Demas. There's, there's those little bouncer guys and people that you need on your court. And he could shoot. Oh, just a little long. Over three from deep. And there's the first field goal. Yep, and it's back up to an 11 point lead. So we for it down to within seven. So for those of you who know, we're, we're trying Cameron our Berg. best to keep the score updated. Oh, goodness, Cameron. Going to be rebound. That's going to be a push in the back. Hunter Scott from three. Yeah, that's an offensive rebound. Oh, God. It's a three on one. And that's all Miller. Now it's a 13 point lead, largest lead of the game, actually, now. Just under a minute left. So we're trying to update the score as fast as we can. It's so fast paced. Well, we were down 19 at the end of the first. Nice play. Devon Simmons bringing the energy. What was that, a two? Yes, an and one. Nice. Nice, Devon. Be huge to be able to get this down to a 10-point lead. Huge. huge. Xavier see, checking back in. Let's see who that foul was on. Dude. Number three, Jake Rail Jake called it the foul.
Devon Simmons. The chance for the old-fashioned three-point play. He's got four points. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to say anything, but the, his free throws. Yeah, they look like football passes. <laughs> <laughs> was that a football pass? I think it was. Looked like a shovel pass, yeah. actually, there. Oh, that's where you got to get it right there. Thirty-one to eighteen. Now it's back up to a thirteen-point lead, largest lead of the game, matched from earlier in the first quarter. Well, nineteen. Nineteen. Sorry, there. nineteen. Sorry, it was nineteen. Yeah, under ten. Six seconds. Good job taking it. There you go. He's going to go get to the that. free throw there line. There you go. Great attack by Cameron Bird. Tried to steal a couple of points at the end of the, the first half here. It's going to be on Demetrius, his first. Sixth team foul. It's not going to matter. There's .4 seconds left. Bird to the free throw line. He's got two points. Make that three points. He's coming in averaging 20 points. Yeah, he's really got to step up his offense performance. And, you know, really, he's the guy they look for to score points for him. Uh, you know, Devon Simmons has been a spark. You know, we've had a couple of other sparks with Leandre Ray. But really need Cameron Bird to step up in the second half. Really need him. And you know what? I, even though we need him to step up, it's good seeing these other players step up. And we're going to step back for a second for halftime. But before we do, let's check out the chat feature, Coach. Oh, yeah, let's check out the chat. z Dog. He says he's in Cheyenne. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's working on his drum chops. All right, Z Dog, work on them drums. Uh, I wouldn't say they're clearly the number one team in the state. I mean, they're they're looking good, but I wouldn't say right now they're the number one team in the state. You still got oh, Central and geez, Thunder Basin. Yeah. I'll, I'll tell you what. They he, are they are where they should be. They East are is, in the top East two. Is exactly where they should be. Um, I. I wouldn't know. I, I wouldn't say they're the number one team in the state because I did watch Cheyenne Central the other day, and Cheyenne Central clearly is the number one team in the state. Yeah, right they're. I'm, they are. They're deep. That's yeah. what makes Central so good is they're so deep, and uh, I think all of their substitutions, all their substitutes are like six five. Exactly. But I, I will say this: if there's one team that can beat Cheyenne Central, it's Cheyenne. It's East. Cheyenne yeah, East. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Well, we're going to take a time out here on the Pena Business Services. Halftime, we'll be back here in about 10 minutes on the Bison. 11-12, BISN. Yo, Bison Network. Pena Business Services, providing bookkeeping, payroll, tax, and notary services since 2007. At Pena Business Services, they help small to medium sized companies and nonprofits for all your bookkeeping, payroll, and tax needs. They also help individuals with their tax preparations, helping manage your day to day accounting with services provided on a schedule that fits your budget. Their goal is providing business owners like you peace of mind on your bookkeeping, payroll, and tax concerns so you can focus on your business. Bookkeeping is like a puzzle. Do you know where to put all of the pieces? Give Pena Business Services a call at 307-369-2708 to set up a free consultation. Welcome to the historic Round Top Mountain Motel and Cabins. Located in scenic Thermopolis, Wyoming, it is within walking distance access to the Hot Springs State Park, as well as world-class fishing, motorcycling, golfing, rodeo grounds, and downtown shopping and restaurants. A Wyoming family-owned and operated motel for travelers offers seasonal rates for nightly, weekly, and monthly rentals. Senior, military, and government discounts are also available. Stay at the Round Top Mountain Motel and Cabins on your next visit to Thermopolis, Wyoming. Make your reservation by calling 307-421 7520 and tell them 1112 BISN Center. Activity programs instill a sense of pride in school and community. At a cost of only 1 to 3 percent of overall school budget, high school activity programs are a bargain. Activities are not a diversion but rather an extension of a good educational program. Mental and physical health are improved through activities. Schools that have music programs have higher graduation rates 90.2 percent compared to 72.9 percent. Statistics aside, join the ride. 
We are Wyoming High Schools. Missile Drive Auto Body is a full-service auto body repair facility in Cheyenne, Wyoming. We have established a reputation as an auto repair shop that is honest, performs quality body repairs and refinish, and strives for excellent customer service. And we guarantee our workmanship for as long as you own your vehicle. Call us today at 307-635-0639 or visit us at 1910 Missile Drive in Cheyenne. Missile Drive Auto Body. Quality without compromise. You're watching the Bison, 1112BISN, your Bison Network. It's much more affordable than you realize to protect your family with the Robert Martinez Agency. Having life insurance will protect you and your loved ones and help insure the future. As a trusted advisor, Robert Martinez will guide you through the wide range of life insurance plans and their fantastic benefits to find an affordable plan with the right coverages. Working to guide and secure your future. Robert Martinez Agency, 20th and Central in downtown Cheyenne. Call for a no-obligation consultation and quote at 307-514-5003. Whether you're a competitive athlete or a weekend warrior, it's frustrating when an injury keeps you from the activities you love. Physical Therapy and Balance Centers has helped thousands of clients recover from sports injuries and reclaim their lifestyles. Treating a variety of injuries, including sprains, post-surgical, foot and ankle injuries, as well as back and neck injuries. Our therapists will develop a personalized treatment plan to help you heal and hasten your recovery and minimize your risk of re-injury. Call 307-772-0955 to schedule an appointment now. Physical Therapy and Balance Centers, let's get moving again. Majestic Butterfly Beauty Salon knows great hair. Whether it's for a trim, getting rid of stubborn gray hair, or just freshen up, Majestic Butterfly is a cut above the rest. Formal hairdos for school dances or getting ready for the happiest day of your life. The professionals at Majestic Butterfly know how to make you look your best and feel your best for every day and for every occasion. Offering women's, men's, and children haircuts, color services, perms, eyelash extensions, and eyebrow and lip waxing. Call 307-369-2201 now for a free consultation and schedule your appointment. Stylists can also be contacted directly at the numbers below. Locally owned and family friendly, Majestic Butterfly, hair and beyond. For the friendships. For the memories. For the excitement. For the challenge. For the love of the game. Time management. To rise above the challenge to respect others, to be humble, to never quit. The officials, to the positive fans, the parents, to the coaches, to the teammates. We are Wyoming High Schools. Hit a deer. Parking lot dings, hail damage, or just roadway demolition derby? No matter how your vehicle gets damaged, Missile Drive Auto Body will make sure it gets repaired back to pre-loss condition and as quickly as possible. No shortcuts, no compromises. And remember, where you get your car repaired is not your insurance company's decision, it's yours. Call today for an estimate appointment at 307-635-0639. Missile Drive Auto Body. Quality without compromise. This broadcast is being brought to you by the Bison, 1112-B-I-S-N, your Bison Network. Physical Therapy and Balance Centers in Cheyenne is unlike any therapy center you've been to before. Our highly skilled, compassionate team of therapy providers are 100% focused on achieving optimal health and wellness for you. If you are tired of living in pain, want to just feel better and move better, or want to improve your strength, endurance, and physical conditioning, then it's time to get physical. Experience the physical difference today by calling 307-772-0955 or visit their website at physicalcenters.com. Physical Therapy Therapy and Balance Centers. Let's get moving again. More than 7.7 .7 million American teenagers participate in high school sports every year, including about 19,000 here in Wyoming. They're all learning essential life lessons, like the importance of hard work, time management, and self-discipline, skills that are helping them become better leaders and more active, responsible citizens. 
This message presented by the Wyoming High School Activities Association and the Wyoming. Light them up. You're on fire. We're back here live with second half action getting ready to begin here at the Old Man Story Gym. The Old Man. Why do you call it the Old Man? That's the nickname for Story really? Gym. Old Man, yeah. Man, I've seen some games here, though, boy. Yeah. I've seen some games here, and I've seen uh, back in 1979, they had WWF wrestling. In oh, here. dang. Did they have that here? Andre the Giant. Oh, wow, man. Was in this gym. Let's give you a quick pan of what this gym looks like for those of you who've never been here. This is what it looks like, and it's actually been upgraded the last couple of years. Yeah. They finally include South High School well, on they the took walls. Well, they took out the old wooden bleach, bleachers, yep. the rollbacks that used to be in the front there. They what an amazing the gym. There's, rooms. there's no other basketball gym in the state of Wyoming that can compare to Story Gym. I agree. I agree. I mean, Even though I still prefer the games be played at their home gym, in my yeah. opinion. Just because, I don't know, I remember those games between East and South and East and Central yeah. at South yeah. or at East. And, you know, remember, well, that was, what, 2015, 2012 to 2015, every game we played Play in Cheyenne, it. no matter where, what school it was at, was a South home game. That's We correct. dominated. That's right. Attendance-wise, you know, we had more South fans show up than the other home schools in East or Central at those games, you know. And, some good years there. Really good years. As a matter of fact, we got one of those Bison sitting down there that made the state championship game appearance for that Bison team, the last playoff team we had, Marquez Jefferson down. Well, they're all over there. I yeah. see Marquez. I see Isaiah Dix. Isaiah Dix. Brendan Nelson. Lynch they're all Beltran. sitting right there, yep. Yeah. Part of that state championship. That state runner-up runner -up team. Runner-up team, yeah. Hey, keep using that chat feature. Let us know where you're watching from, who you're watching for. We appreciate the ones that have chatted so far. Appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Yeah, we got to get that South fan student section. We got to we got to get them going early in the third quarter. Get a little momentum going right now. It'll be East Ball to start the second half. Jake Rail gets the ball into the front court. Comes near side. He passes it over to Xavier. Back to Rail now. Don't have to give as much play-by-play -play with video. That's the good thing about it. That's Pass right. deflected out of bounds by Cameron Bird. Bird, three points. Yeah. Leading score for the it, Bison it, is it, in the locker room. Boy, at halftime, the coach got telling him, "You got to step up. We got. We, you're the senior. Yep. Step up your game right now in the second half. We need you." Ray, the leading scorer for the Bison, was six. Alexander playing Al Miller down in the post. Oh, don't give that up too easy. Turn around jumper by Al Miller. Good. That's got a little smooth shot right there. You know what, though? I don't think I heard him call glass, so I don't know if they should count that basket. That's true. You got to call glass if you're going to use it, right? Maybe he did. Maybe he shot it went glass. Yeah. Either that or he missed it so bad he made it. <laughs> Cameron Bird with the three. Oh. Just misses, and we it's going to be. Them. Yeah. There's. This is starting to be the same as the first yep. quarter. 35 to 19 is your score now. Ray into the front court. Mascarenas now with the ball. Ah. Mm. Turnover south. Mascarenas going to get called with the foul. He was the only Bison starter without a turnover until that last pass. Yeah. And he's going to get called for a second foul. First team foul. If you're here cheering for the Cheyenne East Thunderbirds, hit that like button. And then hit the subscribe button. If you're here cheering oh, for no. the South Bison, hit the subscribe button. Then hit the like button. You don't know what the like button is? The like button. It's the thumbs up. Al Miller's made an adjustment. He's coming out in the second half. And he's trying to take over this game. This is uh, all the East points in the second half have come from Al Miller. 5-0 run to start the second half for the Thunderbirds. Maury Alexander gets the rebound, his second. 
want to give a shout out to Grandma and Grandpa DeBrian, longtime supporters of 1112 BISN and Cheyenne South High School. Want to tell Grandma DeBrian, we hope you start feeling better. Don't miss good, any more games. Good job by the youngster, Mari Alexander. That's okay. You missed a shot. Yeah, you got a great defender on you. But at least it gets you in your head that you could come back down and do that again. That was a three. Missed. Rebound by Ray. Xavier, 35% from behind the line. Boy, he juked him out so bad he fell himself, man. Well, he juked himself out. <laughs> he juked two people out. In one <laughs> Mari Alexander now. Back to Bird. Drives baseline. Yes. There you go. That's, that's a good shot right there that's by Cameron. That's a real Bird. good shot. Little pull-up jumper. 36 to 21. Rail gives it off to Buell. Buell's freshman year, he was the third leading scorer in the state of Wyoming. Sure was. But at the same time, uh-oh, somebody's up there. Not he, a good pass by Cameron. He put up quite a few shots that year, too. Rail for three. Short. Nobody has. Uh, Nobody there. To Everybody was packed in. And it's back up to a 19-point lead. Matches the largest lead of the game from the first quarter when it was 23 to four. Bird for three, hits. Mm. And there's gonna be a timeout on the floor. We're gonna take Bird one loves with to do that. We're gonna take a full timeout with you here on the Bison. 11-12, BISN. Yo, Bison Network. to move better and love your life, then it's time to get physical. At Physical, through our comprehensive programs, you will discover how to achieve the pinnacle of healthy living, expand your boundaries, and love your life again. Call us at 307-772-0955. Let's get moving again and experience the physical difference today. Jam into some Bon Jovi here on that Pena Business Services timeout. Scores 40 to 20. You guys want to hear me sing some Bon Jovi? Oh, boy. I man. got it. You got it. Manzanaris checked back in. So did Jeremiah Marte. Oh, that's a good pass right there. We've got a spirit contest going on. Between the student sections. Cameron Bird gets his shot blocked out of bounds by Xavier. Actually by Demetrius. Got to watch that yeah. holding. Scott turned around saying, hey, he was holding me. Yeah, he was. Yeah. That's when you got to make it clearly obvious you being yeah. able to throw your arms up like you're trying to break away from them. That's how you get the foul called when they can't see the hold. Long three by Buell. He hits. It's one thing he can do is shoot that three. 21-point yes, lead now, 45-24 to 24 on the Majestic Butterfly scoreboard. Ray being guarded by Rail. Nice back cut there by Jeremiah. Good drop-off pass. Oh, nice. That's how you earn extra minutes. There you go. 45 to 26 now is your score. You, you know what? When you're coaching, you're down by 18, 20 points. You look on your bench, you look out on the court, you're looking for somebody that's going to give you some energy right now. You don't care if it's a sophomore, JV player, senior, whatever it is. I need some energy right now. We need to, we need to pick up and play some energy, 
energized basketball right now. It looks like Jeremiah Moite is doing that for them right now. You know, him and uh, him and Manzanares, they have that motor about them. Well, Devon Simmons gave it to him in the second quarter, but he's probably played four quarters of JV basketball, so True. he's only eligible for two quarters in the varsity. And so they'll probably try to save him, save him for the fourth. Quarter, yeah. Long three by Manzanares, hit the support, so it's out of bounds, rebound. Team rebound goes to Cheyenne East. He's showing a lot of patience against South running that 3-2 zone that they like to run. There's going to be a foul on the floor. It's going to be on. I think, believe Hunter Scott. I think that's what they're calling, too. I just couldn't see the numbers. Yeah. No, they called it on Masquerade. Ooh, that, ooh, that's his third. They called it on. Hey, Masquerinas. Hi. Hi. That's a big rebound yeah, there. Yeah. There's nothing you oh. can do about that except get that rebound. I like how Michael battles, man. Yeah, he doesn't sure. care if the kid's yeah. five feet taller than him. He's yeah. going to battle for that rebound. He's a competitor. Ray near side baseline. Gets it into Scott. Scott posting up Xavier. Gets the ball knocked out of bounds. Stay south ball. On the floor for your Bison is Hunter Scott, Jeremiah Moite, Leandre Ray, Michael Mascarenas, and Cameron Bird. Yeah, I, I believe this might be the only quarter they get, Jeremiah Moite. Yeah, I think he played a lot. He's a sophomore. He, he, he had like 20 points in the JV game. Yeah, he did. He, was, he got to the rim anytime he wanted yeah. to. Bright future for that young man right there. For sure. Oop, yep. Ooh, slap the back. Yep, what so they're going to count the basket. They are going to count the basket yep. when they done it. No, they're gonna call a body. Oh, I thought he. I thought he counted. I thought he hit the backboard. Oh. I thought they counted it. And he misses the front end. Come on, Cameron, got the first. Got to make your free throws. He's got eight points. Yeah, he needs to be up to 16 to 20 in this game. And he hits the second. Two for four. Well, it looks like Coach Bailey's going to change defenses now. Look, he's going back to his full court. This 3-2 zone. Trying to create some up-tempo stuff. And, you know, South actually runs this really well, this extended Ooh, zone. That should be South yeah, ball. It went off the thunder. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. They're saying it went out of bounds first. Cameron going to get the deflection at least. He's got quick hands. Quick hands. Yes, he does. He's a sneaky guy. The only player in Bison history with multiple 30-point games in his career. Ah, I didn't know that. Yeah. He's got two of them this That's year. That's right. Long three. Jake Rail can shoot that three, so you cannot leave him out there. That's his third three-pointer of the game. He's got 13 points. Moite puts up the shot, miss. Yeah, it's going to be a holding foul, and it's going to be on Moore. It's going to be his fourth. <laughs> He's like, you're not going to dunk on me. I'm going to foul you, man. <laughs> well, he was going for the dunk. I would have done the same thing. Kevin Bell checking in. He was headed for the dunk. So is Hunter Scott. We probably won't see Alexander until the fourth quarter now, which is only a minute 55. This game is going by so fast. I'm going to yes, have to give is. my sponsor some love, man. I mean, yeah. while we're in here, give some special thanks to our sponsor scrolling on the right. There's a long three by Jake Rail. Wow. And he hits. Jake Rail night tonight. 51 to 27. He's is got your 16 score. points. Leads all scores well. If you no, get a chance to visit, about 18, yeah. if you get a chance to visit any of these sponsors. Make sure you tell them thanks for that. With their help, we're able to provide. Ooh, that's a nice long he turnaround. Said, I heard him call bank. I heard, I, call I heard it too. I heard it too. So that's got to count. We got a full timeout taken by Coach Bailey. You know what? We're going to take one with them here on the Bison. Eleven twelve. B I S N. Yo, Bison Network. Nice. Hit a deer. Parking lot dings. Hail damage. 
or just roadway demolition derby? No matter how your vehicle gets damaged, Missile Drive Auto Body will make sure it gets repaired back to pre-loss condition and as quickly as possible. No shortcuts, no compromises. And remember, where you get your car repaired is not your insurance company's decision, it's yours. Call today for an estimate appointment at 307-635-0639. Missile Drive Auto Body. Quality without compromise. And this is Alan. And you're listening to The Bison on 1112 BISN. Your Bison Network. Back back from this Pena Business Services timeout, your Cheyenne South Bison trailing the number two ranked, the Wyo Preps coaches, coaches in media poll. Cheyenne East Thunderbirds, 51 to 29, the number two ranked team. I actually voted them third this week. You get a poll. vote? Yeah. Oh. Why? Yes, I do. I you just, do, huh? I just lost my anom- my anonymous. Yeah, you did. <laughs> we're gonna find out if you are voting for the baseball hall of fame, and you're the one guy who didn't vote for uh, Derek Jeter of all the 500 votes. All right. I'd like to be that guy. Yeah. Oh boy, I tell you what. <laughs> my name is Steve, and Steve's the one who gets the <laughs> joke. <laughs> You know, it's actually really cool. This is the first year that we finally get a media vote. We've been broadcasting and covering South for nine years. Oh, is it called a foul? No, kickball. And we finally get media. Did you request it? or? No, you know, KO, the David Settle from Laramie Uh runs it now, runs Wild Preps. Well, the company he works for runs it. And so he thought enough of you. Yeah. I'm not saying the last guy did. Well, you know, well Kevin. deserved. Well deserved. Yeah. For you. you know, and I appreciate that. And Kevin because did a great you know job as well, but he had plenty of people already voting then. So, right. Kevin Bell. Kevin Bell gets on the. He gets on the scoring tracker. His Under first a minute left. Uh oh. Is that a three? Yep, they marked it a three. Cameron throws up a shot and miss. Quickly ahead to Buell. Buell. Uh To rail. Miss. Rebound Hunter Scott. Of all the shots he's taken tonight, that one just didn't look right from the get-go. Yep. He lost his verticality. You've got to take it right at him just like Cameron Bird did there. That's a great call by the official. That's actually... One thing they did stress at the mechanics camp I went to this year is you got these players that keep their arms up and they jump horizontally. Did you thinking, just say mechanics camp? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I never even heard of such a thing. Yeah. That's a, if you want to be a varsity, certified varsity where, official. Where do you go to a mechanics camp? I went camp, to Denver, um, Dave Hall's basketball camp. Wow. Yeah. He's a college official for the Mountain West that's and the Pac-12. Good. And uh, one thing they said they're seeing a lot more of in high school and college is the players – keeping their arms straight up, but they're jumping horizontally, creating that contact. That's a foul every time. So, Was there a lot of officials at this mechanic? Oh, yeah, and you actually pay to go to those camps, Uh-oh. so you're not even getting paid. Hey, if they ever need somebody to come and yell at officials, you know, <laughs> we I'd still get plenty of that. that. You know, for practice. <laughs> Cameron Bird, three for six from the missile drive auto body free throw line. There's a foul oh, right, at the, right at the buzzer. Right at the end. Who was that? Kevin Bell? Let's see. He's looking at Hunter Scott. 24. It is Hunter Scott. It's going to be his first, but it's going to send some of the free throw line. Send Cole Michael line. And he wasn't even close on that one. Mm-mm. Cole Michael is a 6'3 senior. Second free throw, and he hits. And that's going to be the end of the third quarter. Your South Bison trailing the number two ranked Cheyenne East Thunderbirds, 55 to 32. Stay tuned for fourth quarter action on the Bison. 1112 BISN. Your Bison Network.
Are you tired of living in pain? Do you just want to feel better, move better, and love your life? Then it's time to get physical. At Physical, through our comprehensive programs, you will discover how to achieve the pinnacle of healthy living, expand your boundaries, and love your life again. Call us at 307-772-0955. Let's get moving again and experience the physical difference today. And we start the fourth quarter with your South Bison trailing 55 to 32 South, 14 for 41 from the field, coach. Oh. And, you know, a lot of that is they, there have been a lot of contested shots. East does a good job of getting their hands in shooters' faces. There's Xavier McCord doing his thing. He's, yep. He leads all scorers with 23 points. He catches the ball that deep in the paint yeah, or in the low him, block. He's that's gonna, like loss and lover. You, you can't let those guys catch the ball that low. Nope. Over. You that's cannot. Uh, you know, you used to coach against these guys in junior high, and they were probably still developing their skills, but they yeah, were still well, really good. They were good. still yeah. athletic, and they were still long, and they were still pretty darn good. Ah oh, Miller with the fake gives it off to another dunk for Xavier. And of course, the announcer's got to let you know it was a dunk, not just two <laughs> points. It was a dunk. He's got to let you know he's got 25 Home, points. Hometown. Yep. Hometown. Uh, that was an alley oop lob to Xavier McCord. <laughs> you yeah, know. Hometown announcer. Three by Mascarenas missed. And they're off running. Buell gets the two. 61 to 32 is your score now. 29 yeah, point lead. It's becoming a, a track meet for the Thunderbirds now. They're just out in front of everybody, right? A Devon Simmons siding again. Start the bus already? Yeah, and a good, foul. Good tack, good take right there by Cameron Bird. Count the basket, old fashioned three point play coming up. Hey, make sure you hit that subscribe button while we're taking this, these uh, missile drive auto body free throws. It's totally free to subscribe. All it does is it shows your support for web streamers like us, 1112 BISN, that are able to bring you these games absolutely free, unlike the big network that most of the schools use in the state of Wyoming. We bring you these games at right. no cost. So when you're playing an in town rival at Story Gym, you don't take a bus, so you can't start yeah, the bus. I know. So it's, is it like start your car, start your car? Yeah. They, they, don't, they don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you Come know on, what? man. We got to get the cheers right. You, you do, and you know. You can't say start the bus. There's no bus. And what, what, what they don't realize also is maybe, maybe they're being nice. Maybe we got some people with, auto, with the auto starts. Remote That's starts, true. and he's there telling them, go. hey, you know, yeah. it's cold. Go start being your. Nice. Yeah. yeah, maybe they're being nice. I don't know. Ooh, that could have been a foul. Oh, There's yeah. a three instead. I'm telling you, Xavier McCord is feeling it. 64 25 to 35. points now for him. 28, 28 points for Xavier McCord. He's going, he heard you talk about 30 point game. Yep. Hunter Scott said, you know what? I'm going to try to do an up and under. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try, but yeah. we'll see how far it goes. That's a good move by Ray, and he's going to go to the free throw line for two. Well, Ray's been quiet. He had six points in that first half, hasn't scored anything since. Yeah. And these free throws being brought to you by Missile Drive Auto Body. We'll tell you what, Missile Drive Auto Body, great owners, local home, home, uh -huh. hometown owners of a company there, former Bison um, parents. It's the first. That's his first free throw attempt and his first make. Yeah, it gives him seven points for the game. But you know what? They're really professional. Their whole staff's really professional. So if you need body work done on your car, make sure you go visit them and tell them 1112 BISN sent you. And he hits both. Because Missile Drive Auto Body, one thing is they, they give you quality without compromise. Got to have that. 
Another basket by Xavier McCord will put him over the 30 line. There's the Alec Clark bucket. Haven't called his name much tonight. Cameron Bird drives, gets to the charity stripe, pulls up from the ah, short corner, misses. And Actually, that, that's a little block. And that might be Alec Clark. He just played very sparingly, and he's already got four fouls. Kobe, brought top of Kobe Bartow. So right now, Cameron Bird is four for seven from the free throw line. Am I right? Do I correct. got that right, Coach? Mm -hmm. Right on. Whew, I was panicked for a second. Did you, you say Cameron Bird? Yeah. Make that five for eight now. That's five for five for eight. You are correct. Ooh. It's that guy over there. I like number 25, Jordan Codner. Jordan Codner, did he check in? Yep. And he hits it off the front rim and in. 66 to 39 is your score. It's hard to believe this used to be one of the closest 4A conference rivalries when South moved up to the 4A conference. South about to drop their fourth straight to the Thunderbirds. Yeah. And in time, That's you know, a good uh -oh, steal here by comes Scott. Cameron, uh, that's his that's his version of the dunk. Uh, it goes in cycles, you know as well as I it do. It does, and, yeah. And you know, it's just one of those years where South has, has struggled, and uh, it'll come back around on the backside. So it will. Uh, it definitely will. Go home south. Yeah. <laughs> that's original. Boy, that's an original chair there. There you go. <laughs> We're ready to go home. Oh. Well, we got a whole bunch of East players there. I think they went to the back of the bench. Whoa, that's a block. Yep. It's going to be on the floor. So stay tuned for next week's broadcast as we head to the Douglas Wyoming Bearcats. Home of one Bearcats. of the Bearcats. Yeah. One how's, of the, the, how's the boys' Bearcats <laughs> team doing this year? You know, I'm not for sure. This year, they're, I haven't checked to see how they're doing this year, but the girls are undefeated again, if I'm correct. Well, they won state last year. Yeah, and I, I believe the only team they lost to in the state while they lost to Thunder Basin girls who were in the state championship. Yeah. Were actually and this year, this year, I think they... They lost to Thunder Basin again, but they, they beat did. some team out of New York. Wow. Hunter Scott gets held. No call. You got to look at that. That's the trails call there. Regardless, they're always good. Nationally ranked basketball team generally. The Lady Bearcats. Long three. Miss. It's going to hit the support, so South's going to get the rebound. 66-41 mm -hmm. to is your score. We will not be in Laramie because I got to go ref some varsity basketball games next week. What do you mean I got to be in Laramie? You want <laughs> we got we got the coach Schaefer. Uh, he's coaching over there at Laramie now. He man. is, and you know it would be great to see him, but he'll be here at South That's in right. a couple weeks he's too. He's got so. a homecoming. Yep. We're gonna give him a homecoming special. Exactly. To South. And you know what though? Not just the former South coach, the former Hall of Famer. That's right. Nah, yep. Uh, Coach Schaefer's team over in Laramie, they started out pretty hot. They started out 7-0 and and kind of struggled as of lately. Comes down to depth on that one, too, from what I heard yeah. there. He'll get him there, though. Cameron Burr with a steal. Misses the dunk. Misses the dunk. He was trying to get a poster right there. Yep, he was. He must forget that amateurs don't, aren't allowed to make money off that. That's right. That was a good move, though. It sure was. I couldn't do it. No, I couldn't either. Gray with the ball to Bird. Bird, top of the key. Gives it off to Mascarenas. Now to Bartow. Bartow to Ray. Two and a half minutes left. I want to thank you all for tuning in. Ray with the long three. That looked good from up here, actually. Yeah, it did. 
Well, it doesn't matter what, <laughs> what it looks like for That's us. That's right? true. <laughs> so make sure you tune in again next week once we find out if Douglas has internet for us to use in the gym, then we will let you know if there is definitely a broadcast. I'm just assuming they have one because they are a 3A school. Good, good basketball community up in Douglas. Mascarenas with the up and under, doesn't get it to fall. Rebound east. And there's going to be a timeout. So we're going to take this final. Call timeout. And you know what? I'm going to keep it here. What's up with all the hunting gear? What is that? The East student sections are wearing camouflage. They're tonight. going hunting for bison. They got the orange hats. They got the camouflage. What is that? What are, what are they doing? They, yeah, they're, they're, they're all leaving. They're what are they leaving. doing? Look at them. <laughs> now this. this what is, is this? This is this is unique. What is this? This is unique. They said they've had enough or what? Yeah. <laughs> are, you <laughs> that, are you getting that on camera? What I am it? actually. What is this? Uh, maybe they're going to come around the backside. The East so. student section has <laughs> left the building. They said they've left the building. Elvis has <laughs> left the building. Now, I will say, you know what? Oh, I will credit geez. that. That's actually pretty original. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's better than their go home south yeah. chant. Let's see if they come back. Maybe they all just have to go to the bathroom. Oh, that, this is interesting. I want to see if they come back. We got a, a bunch of JV players right now, right? 25. It's going to be a foul on the floor, which will stop the clock. And we got a minute 42. Yep. So once again, we're assuming we'll be in Douglas. It only matters is, is if Douglas has internet for us to use. Oh. Come on, guys. We still got to finish the game. And you can't give up stuff like that. That's Do just you, too easy. You're down by this much. Do you agree with Ray and Bird being out there? Well, you don't want your guys to. I mean, at this point, you know, what are you telling your kids? You know, we need practice. We need to work on things. If they're out there working on things, yeah. That's true. If they're true. out there just playing, you, you got to just get them out of there. Yeah. Was that by Devon Simmons? That yep. Russian? He's got six points. Yeah, little Devon Simmons. Number 24 from downtown. He's going to go downtown. It's going to be a held ball. Should be south ball. Yeah. We got a, a Brody Brody Klein coming in for Brody the Klein. He's yeah. one of our old kids over at Johnson Jr. Hunter. Was he? Yeah, Brody Klein. Well, isn't half the roster yeah, there? Well, Former. I'm just joking. I'm joking. You no, know you're not. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Oh. Uh, under a minute left, 72 to 43 is your score. This East team does look good. They are definitely one of the top three teams in the 4A conference. Mascarenas thought about it instead. Mm -hmm. Tried to get it to Simmons. Right idea, just well defended by the Thunderbirds. Oh yeah, a little Brody Klein. That's his first points. That is. His first points. Of the season? He was 0% coming into this game. Wow. Well, I don't know what he did in Laramie, so. I'm assuming he didn't score. A long three by Bird. Bird. Rebound oh, by Bartow. Oh, roll it in there. First basket for Kobe Bardo. And that's going to be it. 74-45. There they come. Look at Look, there they all come. Where did they go? see what they do. <laughs> they all had to go to the bathroom at the same time. Yep. So that's your final score. Your South Bison fall to the number two ranked Cheyenne East Thunderbirds, 74 to 45. We will be back next week on Saturday in Douglas, Wyoming, as long as we can get internet. Coach, final thoughts. Oh, man, I'll tell you. It's a long season, and, uh, you know, I, I don't know. I don't have much to say other than, you know, hopefully by February, March, you know, we're playing a little bit better, both boys and girls. Although the girls played well tonight, I thought. Girls and Lady Bison, they, yeah. they, 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 they competed and had that, a real good game tonight. Yeah. That's a game right there where the score didn't truly indicate how close that game truly was, in my opinion. Yeah. I mean, the Lady, the Lady Bison had that stretch. 
yeah. where they they exactly. held the Thunderbirds what four minutes without a basket exactly, and then we had the same thing here with our game and you know and after watching the two games this week, Central East, you know they're definitely number one and two in the state. I would agree with those rankings, yeah. Definitely, yeah. But you know what? We haven't seen Thunder Basin yet That's either. True. Thunder Basin's only lost two games, and you know they were they were returning a lot of that core last year that beat both Central and East. That is correct. So it'll be interesting to see what happens when Thunder Basin comes to town to play Central. That's right, and I believe actually no, they go up there. So they come they come down here to play South in so Laramie. So East and Central will have to travel, travel. to Thunder Basin and Campbell, Campbell County. County. Yep, but. They actually get Sheridan and Natrona at home. Then. Yes. And we go to Sheridan and Natrona. Exactly. That's but right. Cheyenne East and Cheyenne Central's already beaten both of those teams. Well, they've at least beaten Sheridan. I don't know about Natrona, but, yeah. you know, Natrona's a scrappy team. Actually, no, Central did beat Natrona as well. No, that was Kelly. No, it was Natrona. It was Natrona. So. That was during the Taco Johns. That John's. was during the Taco Johns, yep. So. Yeah. Well, I want to yep. thank all of you for joining in. Let's check the chat one last time before we wrap it up here. If you use the chat feature, we really appreciate you. Uh, we had one player is retracted, which means they used a bad word. So oh, thank you, man. Eric Farmer, man. We appreciate you for watching. And the real deal, Phil Vigil, for joining us. We hope our partner, Steve McDonald, feels That's better right. tomorrow. We'll see, we'll see uh, Steve McDonald next week. I don't, I don't think he'll go to Douglas with me, but <laughs> you might see him next week. I don't think he'll be in Douglas with right. me, though. I, know, I think I'll be riding solo on oh, that one. So. Man. But that's all right, though. Yep. That's less money I have to pay for food. Well, I had a lot of fun tonight, man. I thank appreciate you. you man. Hey, thank you for joining us last minute, man. Uh, Phil, the real deal, V-Hill, one of the experts of not just South basketball, but basketball overall. been coaching mm -hmm. a lot of these kids for years now, and we appreciate hey, don't you. Don't be making me feel well, old, Well, that's man. only six Come years. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got to see if I can make it down these steps. I'll tell you what. I got to carry all this equipment, man. So oh, for Phil, the real deal, V Hill, this is Allen on 1112 BISN. Stay tuned next week as we make the trek to Douglas, Wyoming, as your South Bison take on the Douglas Bearcats as long as we can get internet. That's right. This is the Bison, 1112 BISN. Yo, Bison Network.